Are we live? Oh, uh, oh, we're live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm just waiting for some people to join, I guess. Bear with me. Where, where's my dashboard gone? Is it, is it even on here? There, okay, there it is. Okay, we're just going to wait for some people to join. Welcome if you've already joined. This is the fall of the Reichstag. Um, it's a battle simulation, and we're also going to be talking about the history. Um, wh what it is, is I did make a video on this, but... Um, Yes, I rendered it and it didn't come out how I thought it would be. And the game crashed halfway through, so I was like, nope, can't, uh, we, we can't really do anything with this. Th that's why I've got Minecraft in the background. My stream health is terrible. Oh, bear with me. Oh, there we go, just adjusting myself. Just waiting for some people to join. Ultimate Gaming, welcome to the stream, my friend. I'm not sure why I've got an orange thing on my stream. It says the stream health is terrible. You're right, Commander Rico, Tyler Power. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to show you around this map look. So, what it is, let me just change the sky because this sky is a bit laggy. We're going to move to the. No, oh, no, 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 that one. That's a terrible one. We'll put that to 400. And we're going to move that to 6,000. No, not 600. 6,000. There we go. There we go. Adds a bit of fog, you see. So, yes, right here, look. I have moved the Reichstag, um, which is from the Battle of Berlin. And I pretty much made it as close to Google Maps as what I could really see. So everything is accounted for. We're talking like this monument thing over here. We've got this huge ditch where the Germans started digging out like a train track. And this was going to be a video, like I say, guys. But um, um, I don't know if anybody just got the notification for me dropping a video. But uh, yeah, what happened was is I uploaded the wrong video for starters. And number two... The game crashed on me halfway through, so I just decided not to upload it in the end. So, yes. But how, how is everybody doing? Is, is everybody good? Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a bit of a battle simulation in this. It might crash halfway through, hence why I'm live streaming it. But, uh, it, yes. So, let's press the start button anyway, and we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure if the sound quality is going to be... Go, oh, God, it might be a bit loud, actually. Let me just turn it down. Turn it down to about there. There we go. You can hear my voice, but you can't hear the the gunshots over my voice. That's one of the huge problems that I have in most of my videos. But yeah, we're just going to be playing a battle simulation and chilling and chatting and talking about the Battle of Berlin. So, is everybody familiar with the Battle of Berlin? I'm going to have to alt tab to come and uh, see what's going down in the chat. Mighty, on September the 20th, do an Area 51 raid with my FBI agent. Who's my FBI agent? Hello, can you do a shout out to my name, please? You're the best. Navid. Navid Tube HD. Shout out to you, my friend. Not that it makes a difference. I think we've only got like 27 people watching, to be honest. This channel has died. I don't know what happened. I took a little bit of time off. And yes, Mighty Mapper 123 is now irrelevant, people. What has happened? I'm going to have to go and get a job at McDonald's now and uh, flip burgers. Because this channel is no longer earning any money. It's my own fault, really. I should I should probably upload more, but... look! Oh, look at these skins, by the way, dudes. Look. Comrade Ivan skins. Look at these. They're beautiful. I spent, I've worked so hard on this map, literally. You guys... I don't think... Not many people know how much, like, goes into my videos. I spend so much time making the maps, like, from scratch. I try and make the, the battles, like, super realistic. And I just put so much time into it, but... Yeah... For some reason, I don't, I don't get the views anymore. Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. Um, are you going to do more videos on the Ant series? Maybe in the future. You're never going to die, Mighty. I'm a die-hard fan. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So right here, anyway, we've got the Third Shock Army. It's a little bit laggy. It's not going to be laggy forever. It might crash eventually because we keep getting a memory error. And I didn't want to put this map and battle to waste, you know. So despite the crashes, I thought we're just going to live stream it. So yes, we've got the 3rd Shock Army moving up under the command of one Field Marshal Zhukov. He's obviously not on the front line of his troops because he's a big fat dude. Who is probably sat over there drinking vodka and uh, eat, uh, eating pie or something. But over here we've got the Germans. And these are made up of the Volksturm and the Waffen SS. You can see they're all dug in in their positions. Let's see if we can find some of the Volksturm. They look super cool. But you've got a couple of dudes over here holding their uh, Panzerfaust. And they're just waiting for the T-34s to get that little bit closer. This is 
on the 30th of April 1945 this would have been happening. I will hop out every now and then to read your guys comments by the way. So don't think that I'm ignoring you or anything. How's the sound quality? Is the sound quality any good? Are you going to make another Godzilla video? Uh, maybe. Maybe in the future. The Godzilla is just really glitchy. One thing I've been getting a lot of problems with lately is glitchiness on these games. Um, I've been working so hard on getting a new version of Army Men of War out for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's having some crash problems now as well. Which is a big, big problem. It's all memory errors. I think Men of War Sports War 2 just isn't optimized really for my kind of maps, I guess. Because I tend to spend a lot of time on them. And I tend to make them very, very detailed. And I put a lot of grass everywhere and stuff. Oh, we've hit a T-34 over here. Is that going to blow? It's a dud. Oh, what's going on over here? So the Germans are moving troops up into these foxholes. They're going to be trying to stop the Russian advance on the right-hand side. Like I say, guys, if the battle does go off halfway through, it is because of the crash error that I've been getting. It's really annoying. Super annoying. Um, it's actually stopped me from being able to make this into a series, so... Maybe it's the skins. Maybe the skins are just too good graphics. They're from Red Orchestra 2, I think. Oh, this they look so nice. Just looks lovely. Yes, yeah, somebody says that variety. Bringing variety to the channel. Something that I think is also killing my channel, because... If I, if I pump out the daily army men of war, you see, I get 10 times more views, I get 10 times more subscribers. But um, I just don't feel happy within myself for some reason, I don't know why. So the variety is something which is really cheering me up, it's really making me happy. Be, be able to, I can't even speak, being able to do uh, different battles from different eras. I mean, it's kind of where I came from anyway. I came from being a mapper who just made everything down to just playing with toy army men, I guess. Virtually. What is that T-34 doing? I love how the Volkstum are just standing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to order those to charge this T-34. So Volkstum versus T-34. Who's going to win? Tell me in the comments. Here goes nothing. Oh, <laughs> they're missing. They're not very good, are they? I suppose they are civilians. Never mind. I don't know, yeah, maybe you're right, maybe the T-34 might win that. I don't think anybody win, I think they're just having a stare off now, they're just staring at each other. And this is the sort of thing I have to put up with in my videos. How to make entertainment out of just a T-34 staring at a civilian, I guess. So let's try that again, come on, round two. Stop staring, literally, it's a staring contest. This dude right there is just staring at him with binoculars in the open. Oh, okay, there is smoke covering him, I guess. Unless that tank has been taken out. Double check. The cool thing about it being in the editor. No, he's still active. Do you know what? We're just going to charge him forward. Maybe you just can't see him. And this is Rob's realism, this is, dude. It's Rob's realism. It's Comrade Ivan's texture pack. It's Comrade Ivan um, a skin pack. So we have, like, loads of new skins. Right. Mighty. Navid tube. What, what, what's up, dude? Read in the comments. On the destroyer. How's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. So anyway, the Reichstag building. There's actually some fun facts about the Reichstag building. As the Russians, the Soviet Union, actually thought that this was a very big location for them to take. But um, Hitler actually held no, he held no significant value to the Reichstag building. He didn't really care about it too much. It held huge strategic value to Hitler. But um, n no significant value. As the, it was burnt down in 1933 as the Nazis were coming to power and the, I think the Nazis actually burnt it down but blamed the communist and that's how the um, the Nazis actually got more seats and brought Hitler to the Chancellor because he came to power in 1933 didn't he? We're doing well okay, we're doing okay at the minute, no crashes so far we've got a huge army of Russians over here maybe, I'll tell you what, instead of this being the whole battle where they take the whole of the Reichstag it's just going to be the battle where they push towards it. So that kind of makes sense out of the crash, you see. Right, welcome to the stream, if you're just arriving. And welcome to the fall of the Reichstag. Like I say, this is a map made by me. I've just spent like 
oh, I don't know, nearly a week making it, I guess. I've been studying pictures. Uh, be sure to come and join the Discord and you can actually see some of the pictures that I've uh, been, been studying and some of the screenshots that I've taken as well. I've posted them in off topic on uh, the Discord. I can't speak Russian. Okay, so this German flank has not even been touched yet. That poor horse. It looks like Jorgen from uh, PewDiePie's uh, Minecraft series. This is where he ended up. He fell through the nether and into the world of World War II. Okay, we've got more T-34s rolling up. Let's do a pause. Let's pause it. Okay, so now we've got no lag and we've got like a, a really cool diorama of the Battle of Berlin, I guess. So anyway, let's have a read of the comments. So this is like an intermission. Everyone watching, hit that like button. Yes, please do hit that like button. It helps me out loads. Like I say, dudes, this was going to be a video, but um, it just didn't work out and I didn't want to waste the, I didn't want to waste the map that I've just worked so hard on. Um, wait, what if the world from all of the war melted? All the ice flooded the world, and the purple were the strongest. Are you talking about Army Men of War in a World War Two video? You see, I should just. Do you know what I should do? I should just change my name from Mighty Mapper One Two Three to Army Men of War. How does that sound, dudes? We'll just we'll just be an Army Men of War channel. Look at them trenches. Look how beautiful that looks. It looks amazing. <laughs> so somebody put in the comments like war is retarded. That that is very true. I need to get my laptop back that way I can see the comments at the same time as replying to them. But at the moment I have to alt tab out of the game. Maybe that's the cause of my crashes. Okay, we've got uh, a trench full of Germans here which is getting completely annihilated by the incoming Russians. I think they're spreading across from right to left now. They would have the, I think it was the Zoo Flak Tower. Um, tell me if you guys know what the Zoo Flak Tower was. It was that like huge anti-aircraft uh, castle that the Germans tend to build. And what they did is it was two kilometers away in that direction. And it was actually covering the Reichstag on the 29th of April and stopping the Russians from actually getting across this little riverbed right here. I say riverbed, but it was actually... Like I said, I was building a train line, and it ended up flooding. That's a true story. I've been doing my studies, you see. And uh, what really devastated the Germans in this position was actually the Katusha. The Katusha missiles coming from the trucks, and that would have been in that direction over there. Well, where, the, where they're coming from. It's quite laggy. How much knowledge do I know? I know even more knowledge. Right, so in this direction right here, these Russians are actually coming across a bridge which would be just out of this map, which is called the Moltke Bridge. The Moltke Bridge is over there, which is facing the... Oh, what was it? It was the Ministry of the Interior. It was also known as Himmler's Building. It's where Himmler was actually stationed. And they fought for that on the 28th of April, 1945. And they fought through till the 29th of April, 1945 because the Germans actually pushed from the Reichstag and retook the Ministry of the Interior. But then the Russians pushed them back out just a day later. On top of all that as well, I was going to make this map really big. It's like in that direction as well, though, it's actually the Brandenburg Gate. The Brandenburg Gate is the gate into the government district of Berlin, and that was near Hitler's Reich Chancellery, the new one, because this is the old one. This was actually really a really important building during World War One, but like I say, it got burnt down in 1933. Yeah, it's really cool stuff to learn. I mean, some people find it boring, but I find it interesting. Is the channel dying? I'd say it is, you know. I mean, it has its moments. I mean, like, just last month we had, like, a couple of viral videos that got a couple of hundred thousand views, and then I had, like, two weeks off, and then when I came back from the two weeks, yeah, things just weren't the same. People just lost interest. 
everybody that you know the videos of army men of war that I've just done I've, I've always done them the same and everyone's always liked them the same but then people just got kind of bored of them and stopped watching them and so I'm just trying new things out lately and uh, yeah trying to find something else we can turn into a cool little series hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to find something very soon I'm just gonna keep pumping out these daily battles you see maybe daily live streams as well but I'm doing YouTube more for me now rather than doing it for the money as such stop stop mixing your channel up mighty somebody said said FYB Dante um yeah that's what that's what I'm gonna do dude that's the plan that's the plan of action and it's something that I've done quite a lot to be honest it's like imagine right imagine uploading multiple things on your channel like I've done Ravenfield I've done all kinds of other games right but nobody's ever clicked those ones because they've always only clicked army men of war if that makes sense so they don't even know the people that watch army men of war sometimes don't even know that I'm uploading other content because if they see a notification where it says fall of the Reichstag they're like okay I'm not gonna click that because it doesn't say army men of war in the title but if it says army men of war they tend to click it more and I don't I don't know why I think it just goes to show that people just they kind of want to watch the content rather than like come and watch it's like you go you go to a youtuber right there's two different things that you go to them for you either go to the youtuber for the personality of the youtuber or the content that the youtuber creates sometimes a mix of the two in my case I think it was more the content that I created so instead of me per se being popular it was more army men of war being popular if you know what I mean everything is Fortnite now damn kids back in my day it was about killing Germans oh there we go there's the error that I got so you guys can witness that first hand now that about the crashes yeah it plays for about 14 minutes then it just crashes but I just wanted to share with you guys the map and some of the battle because I didn't want it to go to waste and I didn't want to just uh, you know throw out I didn't want to just throw out a video and just not let you guys know that it's unedited or anything like that so that's why I just deleted the last one that I did and uh, yeah so I thought I'd just do this live stream but is there any questions before I go I guess because we've been streaming for quite a while now how long have we been streaming for? 17 minutes we're going to round it up to a nice healthy 20 minutes but um, I've got plenty more battles and stuff uh, ready to uh, upload it's just um, making the time to uh, get on Men of War and record them I guess because it's um, it's half the battle making the battle and then it's half the battle doing the recording yeah everyone's saying rip what's your next video about well this was the defense of the Reichstag I mean if you go to the start of the stream once it's finished you'll see like you'll learn a little bit about the Reichstag and you'll also see the cool map that we just played um, but yeah, um, is there anything else that I need to show you guys? I, I don't think there is. Like I say, there's more Army Men of War coming soon. And it's going to be a completely brand new series. Connected to the old series. But um, in a different dimension. We're going back to the original human world. I, I prefer to meet the maps on there. It's just so much more nostalgic for me. I feel like with Army Men of War, I feel like we've kind of all lost interest. And it's not your guys' fault, it's more my fault, because I feel like I lost a lot of interest in it, more than anything. And I started getting a bit lazy with my videos, and yeah, so I'm trying to conquer that at the minute. But I've been under a lot of stresses at home, and I've not really had the time to upload and focus on this side of my life, really. As there's been going a lot, there's a lot been going on in my personal life. So there's two sides of me. You've got my, you've got Sam, and then you've got which is my name by the way, if you didn't know, and then you've got Mighty Mapper One Two Three. And for the past few weeks, I've had to push the whole Mighty Mapper One Two Three side of me aside and focus more on the Sam side. If that makes sense. But yeah, let's take some suggestions, and then we're going to end the stream. So please do the Battle of Britain if you can, or the Battle of Hamburger Hill. That sounds cool. That that sounds cool. I mean, we we can't do the Battle of Britain because Man of War Assault Squad 2 just doesn't really take much in the way of planes. But um, we could probably do the Battle of Hamburger Hill. Sam versus Mighty Mapper 1, 2, 3, the greatest battle. 
That's a battle I face every single day. Mighty, you're the best. I love your videos. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Like I say, I appreciate all you guys. I mean, I do try my best. Honestly, it's like... I think sometimes I pay more attention to the haters than I do the the people that have supported me for all these years. And I'm not going anywhere, like I say, even if this channel does die, as as YouTubers say, I'm still going to upload. Because uh, I don't do it for views or anything, I just do it for me, really. I do it because I enjoy it. I'm still going to upload battles. Obviously that battle just failed on me, I just spent so long making the map, and so long scripting the battle that... It just all kind of backfired on me and it started crashing for no reason. And it's the same with Army Men of War as well. That that mod, I think there was an update to Men of War Assault Squad 2. And it completely broke my Army Men of War mod. And yeah, so I've had to completely make a new one. And yeah, true. Anyway, any questions before I leave? The map was awesome. Thank you very much. So basically you have a psychological warfare going on in your head. You could say that. You could say that. It's more like when you do YouTube, right? I mean, it's getting real now. This talk is getting real. When you do what I do and you start earning money from it and it becomes a job, you start building a new world, if you know what I mean, in your computer, a virtual world, and it starts prioritizing over your real world. So that's I think that's what I was trying to say. And obviously sitting down a lot isn't healthy, so... If anybody sits down and plays video games all the time, do get up, get off, get off your couch. I don't know, get out of your computer chair, go outside. You know, go and live life a little bit because that's a mistake that I've made. I mean, I've, I think I've, I think it's just been, it's just been a lot of stress lately. And like I said, I had that whole period where I've just lost, I lost my job and stuff. And yeah, so I'm just trying to sort all that out at the minute and back to back with keeping up with my uploads on YouTube. And it's just, it's really hard because if I'm down in the dumps and I'm like, and I'm not in the mood to upload, what's the, there's no point in really uploading, is there? If I'm having to force a smile and put on this whole persona. So I just want to be myself in the future, upload what I want to upload and hopefully keep half of my audience, I guess, than the other half that just want to, uh, I don't know, come here and watch content, you know, that you can still do that, I guess, but, um. I'm just going to upload for me from now on. I'm not really going to upload for... I'm, I'm not going to become this persona, Mighty Mapper 123 anymore. I'm just going to be myself as of today, I think. I'm not just going to do this. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video thing anymore. It's just going to be me and my computer. So I think I think that kind of makes sense, I think. Maybe it came out as a bit of gobbledygook, but uh, Army Men of War Olymp Olympics, that's a cool idea. But anyway, thank you all for watching, all 26 of you. <laughs> And um, I guess I will see you all in the next video. I'm going to try for daily uploads. I'm just going to make whatever battle that I feel like at any current time. So lately I've been really into muskets and that sort of era. And then, yeah, I'm just going to do different battles every single day, I think. We're going to try for daily battles. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.